All right, thought we'd take a couple minutes today to talk about composite functions. So let's just look at what this means. Composite function is kind of building a new function out of two or more existing functions. So we start off by the, with the two functions that they give us, and they say let f of x equal 4x to the 1 half power, and let g of x equal negative 9x to the 1 half power. And they ask us to add the two functions together. So they ask us what is f of x plus g of x. All I'm going to do is this. I'm just kind of kind of fill in the blanks. f of x is that value, isn't it? So I'm going to take that value, 4x to the 1 half power. This plus sign is this one. So it asks me to add them. And then g of x is this value. So I'm just going to add that value, negative 9x to the 1 half power. I'm going to get away, uh, get rid of a little arithmetic in the, in the middle. I have a plus and a, a positive negative here. So I'm going to treat this like it's a multiplication problem. So I'm looking at this in this kind of weird way as if it was this piece times this piece. And a positive times a negative is a negative. So I'm just going to replace this piece with a negative to clear this up for me. And when we do this subtraction, we get negative 5x to the 1 half power. Right? The next qu question asks us to subtract the two functions. So again, we know that f of x is 4x to the 1 half power. We're asked to subtract it. So this negative sign right here is this one. And we're asked to subtract the other function. And the other function is g of x, which is negative 9x squared. So negative 9x, I'm sorry, to the 1 half power. Oops, this should be to the 1 half power. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did last time. A little bit of arithmetic here. A negative times a negative is a positive, so I'm going to turn this into a positive, and I'm just going to add these two numbers together and get 13x to the 1 half power. All right? Keep in mind that 1 half power means the square root. So we have, the, we have 13 square roots of x. So if we were asked for the domain, the domain would have to be, um, the domain here would have to be positive numbers, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, non-negative numbers because zero would be included also. And remember, when they're asking us about domain, they're asking us what are the possible x values, not what x values do we like, but which ones are possible. And when we look at it, we ask ourselves which ones are not possible. And to answer that, it is not possible for me to take the square root of negative 25 or negative 1 or negative anything. So those numbers would have to be non-negative numbers, like zero. The square root of zero is zero. The square root of 25 is 5, etc. But we couldn't have a negative number in here, right? Okay, you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do.